Okay, this is our third video uh, in Chapter 13 for Physics. Uh, we're going to talk about thermal expansion. So I mentioned in a previous video that um, materials expand <coughs> typically when heated, um, and that has to do with the uh, atoms of the material um, moving farther apart. And so we're going to look at uh, specific ways to quantify how much something is going to uh, change in length or in volume. So we'll start by looking at length. If we have a, um, a, a cylinder, um, looks like, of some initial length L sub naught at some initial temperature T sub naught, and then we increase the temperature to a final temperature T. So, so the difference between these two is delta T. So we started at some initial temperature, went to a final temperature. Uh, we're assuming that that temperature is going up by an amount delta T. It's going to cause a delta uh, change to occur in length. And so the final length L is equal to the original length L naught multiplied by 1 plus alpha delta T. So delta T is the change in temperature. So what is this alpha? What is that equal to? Well, it is a coefficient of linear expansion. So it depends on the material. Uh, different materials have different coefficients of thermal expansion. And uh, this can be found in your textbook. There's a table that lists um, alpha values for a variety of materials. So um, you'll need to look that up depending on what the material is. But uh, this is the formula right here for finding how much something will expand for a given change in temperature. So things that are three-dimensional, that have a volume, they also will expand given a change in temperature. And we have a similar uh, formula here that the delta V, the change in volume for the three-dimensional shape, is equal to beta times V naught, the in initial volume, times the change in temperature delta T. So this is the original volume. This is the change in temperature. And then we have another coefficient here, this time beta. Beta is the coefficient of volume expansion. Okay, and again, this is something that can be found uh, in the textbook uh, for a variety of materials. In fact, here we go. Here is the table. So what we can see here is that uh, for solids, we can look up um, alpha values. Okay, so uh, these are the values that we plug into um, our formula. Notice there are no alpha values for liquids or gases because they can't really have a length. Liquids and gases just fill up whatever uh, container they're in, uh, whereas solids keep their own shape. So solids can change in length. Liquids and gases doesn't really make sense to describe their length changing. But they can change in volume. Okay, and so we can um, find the change in volume using this beta coefficient. And of course, we're using uh, degrees Celsius for all of our calculations here. Let's take a look at an example problem here. Um, if we have a bridge, a uh, suspension bridge that is 200 meters long at 20 degrees Celsius. <laughs> 20 degrees Celsius roughly corresponds to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's about uh, you know, room temperature. Um, but let's say um, it's a bridge, and it, so therefore it's outdoors and subject to weather conditions. And uh, it may experience extreme temperatures as low as negative 30 degrees Celsius or up to positive 40 degrees Celsius. Um, how much is it going to expand and contract with these changing temperatures. Well, 
let's we're assuming it's made of steel or rather we are we know it's made of steel that was given in the problem statement the steel bed of this suspension bridge and so if we look up in the table the thermal coefficient of expansion for steel that alpha value is equal to 12 times 10 to the negative sixth and the units of this uh, coefficient are degrees Celsius to the negative one power or inverted degrees Celsius that's kind of a strange unit but that's what's required to get your units to cancel out in the equation so if we look at uh, 40 degrees Celsius we look back here at the problem statement um, it could the temperature could go up to positive 40 degrees Celsius so this is the extreme high temperature <laughs> at 40 degrees Celsius our Delta T is going to be equal to the 40 the extreme high minus 20 that we're starting off with yeah, that's going to be 20 degrees Celsius is the change in temperature we're going from 20 up to 40 so the change was 20 all right so if we then write down our formula here for the length the, the new length as a result of thermal expansion is equal to the original length times 1 plus alpha delta T so our original length was 200 meters times 1 plus Twelve times ten to the negative sixth times our delta T was twenty degrees Celsius. And plug that into the calculator and we should get two hundred point oh four eight meters. So <coughs> the amount that the bridge expanded due to the increase in temperature is 0.048 meters which would be about 4.8 centimeters let's look now at the extreme cold temperature so in this case um, we've got the same material so we have the same um, alpha value our delta t is going to be different though we start at uh, 20 and we're going down to a negative 30 and so 20 minus negative 30 that's just 20 plus 30 is 50 degrees Celsius that's our change in temperature our Delta T um, but we should really I guess we should really make this at negative 50 because we're going down so I suppose what I really should have done is started with my negative 30, my finishing point, and subtract from it 20 as my starting point to get a negative 50, because we're going down in temperature this time. So again, length is equal to the original length times 1 <coughs> plus alpha delta T. And so the original length at 20 degrees Celsius was 200 meters times 1 plus. We've got the same alpha value because it's the same material, uh, steel, 12 times 10 to the negative 6. And this time we're multiplying by a delta T of negative 50 and when we multiply that out we should get 199.88 so as you can see it got a little bit shorter it got a little bit shorter by 0.12 meters so if we want to know the um, the range uh, the total change
from the hottest day to the coldest day. That would be the longest was 200.048. That was on our hottest day. And we subtract from that the length of the bridge on the coldest day, 199.880. And the difference there is a total of 0.168 meters. That's how much it's changing in length from, from the hottest day to the coldest day. And so that is equal to 16.8 or about 17 centimeters. So I always think that this <coughs> is an interesting question to ask students. Let's say we have something that's like a donut shape, like a metal washer, and we heat it up. Is the hole in the middle going to get bigger or smaller? Because there are basically two trains of thought here. There's one it would say, well, the material is going to expand, but it's going to expand out in both directions. The outside is going to get bigger. The inside is going to get bigger, which is going to actually make the hole smaller. Or there's the train of thought that says, well, the whole thing is going to get longer and bigger. So both the inside and outside diameters are going to expand. And we're just going to end up with a bigger hole. <coughs> So which is it? And I usually ask the class, and there are some mixed opinions. But anyone who's had to try to get off a, a, a stuck nut by heating it with a torch knows that when you heat that nut, it is going to expand. The hole in the middle is going to expand. So um, for a, a donut-shaped object, it's the second train of thought that is correct. The overall expansion of the material just increases the, um, the, the overall diameter, which uh, more than compensates for any inward expansion. So, so the, the inside diameter does get larger when heat is applied. And so, like I said, if you've ever had to heat up um, a stuck nut to get it off, or if you've got a metal lid on um, a jar of food that you're trying to get off, it might help to try to heat it up by um, putting it under a hot tap. Hot tap water can help expand that lid. <laughs>